Hi, beautiful. I've seen people try a million different techniques when highlighting their hair at home. You guys are so damn creative, but often your creations go completely wrong. Highlighting is one of the hardest things to do yourself because it takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice to get it right. So let's see how much people fail today when trying to highlight their hair at home. Up first, we have a video by She's the Life. And she's going in with a cap highlight today. And cap highlights give me anxiety. Definitely a lot of things in life give me anxiety. Pretty much everything. But cap highlights, they are up in that top five spot. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. Dyeing my hair at home. I know you. You use wave tech, wave foam. I've been doing lighter and lighter like every three months for the past couple of years until I totally fried my hair to level 10. Okay, the hair right now, it's just not giving. I think you would look better with darker hair. I don't know if the blonde is just the vibe for you. It's also just not the right blonde. Is she going darker or lighter? I'm confused. Oh, it says in the title, blonde brunette. So she's going darker with a cap. So that sounds very interesting. So she's giving herself low lights. This is taking a little bit of a turn all of a sudden. I'm going to be using this um, highlight cap. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Warn me before you show that thing on camera. Oh, my eyes are bleeding. They're bleeding from the frosting cap. I'm gonna be using two colors today. One is a dark ash blonde and one is light ash blonde. I don't exactly know what these colors are gonna look like. We have no idea what the colors are gonna look like. That's great. Off to a good start. <laughs> Girl, what's going on here? Put this pink. Um, I guess the first step would be to pull out strands of hair from these holes. The cap is backwards, but that's okay, I guess. It's not like you're gonna get even results no matter what. So if you've never seen a cap palette before, which I'm sure you have, the whole thing is just kind of a mess. Like you don't know what you're really getting. You don't know where the hair is coming from and what direction. And you just end up with like a lot of highlights here, a little bit of highlights there, a little, like it's just a lot all around. Um, I've only seen this go well like a few times, but most of the time it's just a spotty, splotchy mess. How do I get thicker strands out? I feel like I want thick strands. Girl, you're pulling one hair out at a time. We gotta speed this up. Get the hair out. Pull the th 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 Pluck it out, girl. This frosting cap process takes so long. It is so tedious. It is so like... Like, I don't want to do that. I really don't know what the color is supposed to look like, but I don't know. I thought it would be a lot darker than this. Okay. <laughs> We are just going in with it, laying it down. I thought we were gonna do like a root shadow, like, you know, let's flip our hair over, put it underneath first, and then work it through the rest, you know? Start on the bottom, you guys. Damn it. We got the don't start on the roots thing, but now it's don't start on the bottom. Start on the top. Where is the product? It looks dry. Put more product on there, please. Gotta get that sh fully saturated if you want that blonde to fully be colored a different color. What am I saying? You want to do bad you bad That's what I meant to say. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my lower lid. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my lower lid. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my lower lid. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my all right, okay. We're definitely getting something. Uh, honestly, uh, it's kind of not bad so far. And I also really appreciated that little moment with taking off the, the frosting cap. It's always so satisfying. I always love it. I believe she's now trying to go in on the blonde parts and like do something else with the low lights on her head at the same time. Why don't you just keep the frosting cap on and then pull the color through the rest of the hair underneath while the frosting cap was, I'm just very confused. Well, that wouldn't have worked either. This is why frosting caps are impossible and don't work well. I don't understand what's going on. I thought you were gonna highlight the rest, not make it darker. What? Wait, what, 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 whoa, why is her hair all one color and why is it like green? What? You are confusing me. Where are we going with this? You're using an ash brown on your blonde hair without filling it. It's going to become hollow looking and green, which we're kind of see what's going on here. We're kind of getting that right now. It's not great. It's not good. And it's not giving what it's supposed to give. And now I feel like we're just getting rid of the, the low lights. 
<laughs> I don't know what happened. I accidentally picked the wrong colors and this happened. No, 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 no. Wait, what happened? That was a major fail. You literally put the color on your entire head and expected it to somehow be low light. It's not highlights. Where the low light's gonna be if you were low lighting the entire head. I'm frustrated. Unfortunately, the two blonde shades that I chose for my highlights and lowlights were too similar. That wasn't the problem, girl. I hate to break it to you. The whole thing was wrong. <laughs> if you want to use a frosting cap, you're gonna have to lighten the entire blonde part first, rinse it out, shampoo, then frosting cap, then low light, then rinse, then style. If you wanted to get an all around blonde with low lights, that would have been the technique to go with. This way, you just ended up getting an entirely darker blonde, but it's kind of green. I mean, the darker blonde does look better on you. Listen, and I'll take it, but it's not the optimal look for me. I'm sorry. Next time, just do a rude shadow and a little bit of a tone on the ends like let's just keep it simple and do the least instead of doing the most because we did the absolute most today and it just wasn't right up next we have a video by latoya ann we are going to be adding face framing highlights to my hair and we're going to be making um the lightness that's kind of around there a little bit brighter let's do it latoya bring out those money pieces baby we got on color balance bright white powder lightener 30 volume developer sounds like a good idea and also for our toner we got um, Latin Neutral Beige Blonde 9NB. Okay, see now you're speaking my language. 9NB sounds like a good idea for you because you're probably not gonna get to a 10. 11 9 is good for you. The N is neutral. The B is probably beige. Probably a pretty color. Good idea instead of doing like T18 permanent color. Here is my hair right now. I have a lot of new growth. Okay, we got a little bit of new growth going on. We got some existing highlights. We're gonna spruce that up. We're gonna give ourselves some money pieces as it says in the title of her video. Um, I think that's a good idea. I don't think she needs to do a whole lot to make this look a whole lot of brand new. I am just sectioning off my hair and I wanna show you what I have so far. Why is the top section like this? Like a tidal wave. I can't imagine somebody told you to section out like a wave. Probably wanted you to go straight across, right? What happened there? Section it off the hair that is around your face like this. Listen, I mean, I'll take it. At least she's sectioning, right? And she's doing three sections. One right here, one right here, one right there. That's totally fair. It's a very normal way to section out some face framing. Do I do it differently? Yeah. And do I have a video about it? Yeah, you can check it out if you want to. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do, go ahead and tease our hair. I already separated this in half. We want to make sure we tease it really well and we're gonna blend it. Honestly, thank God she's teasing. Teasing. That way, like, any errors don't really show much. Teasing is a is a good way to give yourself a little buffer, a little something to make sure that you're, you're, you know, get lines in your hair. I will say, though, that is a big section. That is a lot of hair. Next time, let's take half of that or, like, a third of that at a time. Show doing it like this, and then like this, and then they blend it onto the foil. Make sure you get it on the darker parts. <laughs> you gotta get a lot more color on there and we gotta really get that hair, too much hair. It's gonna be splotchy. Also, let's make sure we put our hand underneath and paint on top. That way we can put some pressure on the hair and really get that lightener in there. For somebody who maybe this is their first time doing foils on themselves, I'll give you some credit. Where credit is due, this is not easy to do and you're doing something and I will take it. Luckily, she's already starting off with some highlights in her hair, so if she misses some spots, it's gonna be okay-ish. It's not gonna be as visible as if she went from brown to blonde in foils and didn't get every single piece. That would've been a little scary. We have moved on to the side of the hair. The sectioning is getting a little wild. What's going on there? <laughs> the ends, she's flipping them over, painting on top. That is how we like to do it in the salon. So you're giving us something good here. And I like that she's not going all the way to her root. She is kind of smudging the color up. And, and, and let's not forget the fact that she's pulling all the hair forward is such a good idea because when she lets it back down into place, she's gonna get diffusion and um, softness within the highlights because she did the over direction. So if you paint something this way and you bring it back down this way, it's not gonna be in the same position. So you're gonna get different heights of highlights. So it's gonna be super super diffused. We made it to the last section. She's finishing it off. I'm feeling like kind of good about this 
Feel like I might get something kind of decent here. What? My hair is done and it's got a process, so. <laughs> Where's your face go? Can you breathe underneath there? Where are you? You can totally just fold them up, okay? These are gonna have to come off first and rinse because they were on first and they've been on a lot longer and my hair is really damaged in those sections. So I really don't wanna lose my hair. All right, so I took out the foil, my bangs, because they were already pretty processed. Whoa, sh that actually looks kind of good. We're still going to use the toner. I don't know if my hair's long enough for the toner, but I know it's a blue-based toner, so. All right, so I just washed my hair with purple shampoo. Oh, what, what happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? It's looking really spookatitious here. <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm going to tone all the blonde sections. Please toner, come through for us, please. And I'm gonna keep a really close eye on this, that way it doesn't get too dark. All right, so here is the hair done. Oh, listen, it's giving something. She definitely gave herself face framing. I just feel like it's not the right shade for you, but let's see what she has to say. I feel like I went too heavy with the blonde on top. It's definitely very drastically different than it was before. I'm gonna have to end up getting some medium brown and smudging it on my root. Guys, it's so blonde. What do you think I should do, guys? Do you think I should get some uh, medium brown and smudge it or? No okay, yeah. I mean, I would definitely recommend getting some a little bit of brown in there and smudging it and just blending everything. There's still a lot of harsh lines. I think you need to tone it to be a little bit more cool toned. You have a lot of pink in your skin and your hair is very yellowy and orange and red and it's just not most optimal color for you. But if that's what you like, then do you. Always do you. It is very bright. It is a lot. Next time, let's just pull this all together and make it even better. Up next, we have a video by Linda Thao. I'm gonna be bleaching my hair using 30 volume deep Developer. You are gonna need that if you're not doing foils. Like, girl, your hair is black. I never really showed you guys how to do it, but I was watching Brad Mondo's video. If you do anything to your hair, you should watch a ton of videos first before doing it. Well, welcome to the video. Now you are in the video. Now you are the example in the video. This hair inception going on. So right here, there's a flat end piece. And he said that you should do it at an angle and then just to pull it out straight. Did I say that? Because that's totally true. Oh my god, sometimes I know what I'm talking about, you know? I have pretty thin pieces right here. God, those are f thin. <laughs> Let's pull more out because otherwise you're gonna end up with the, the smallest little baby lights in the entire world and it's not going to do anything. Now I'm gonna be using this Kaleidoscope Blue Clairol Bleach packet that I have and I'm gonna be using 1 16th um, Olaplex into this. Ooh, look at her whipping out the Olaplex, the actual professional one. Where'd you get that? So I'm only gonna use half of this and it's a one and two ratio. So it's one part bleach to two parts developer. Look at her following directions, listening, taking note. Okay, I can appreciate that. However, you're gonna get two highlights on that head with the way you pulled those things out. Where are the highlights on the top? Why are they all on the side and none on the top? Where is the thing the boom, boom, boom? I mainly use my fingers to apply the bleach and then I am using the brush to lightly tap the roots and I don't wanna push that bleach back into the holes because that could bleed out into the other hairs. Correct. You don't want to push down or else you will get bleeding spots. It's a bad look, I promise. Why are her ends hanging out of that foil? You're trying to get dark ends? What is that? I think the bleach, I think I diluted it a little bit too much. So this is how it came out. So it's this light brown shade. Yeah, what happened there? Why is it not blonde? I want blonde and I want it now. For the second bleach, I did the exact same thing as the first time. And then I started from my back to the left and then the rest of my hair. And then I used foils and I left them in for an hour. We're going in for round two. I'm glad she didn't take the cap off and then try to like pull it through the holes again. Cause obviously that wouldn't work, but like I've seen people do that before. So don't do that. If you want to go for round two, wash and shampoo with the cap still on, then apply more lightener, but don't take the cap off. It still looks way too dark very orange and it's probably because you're not applying enough lightener you need to lay it on there 
thick, and then you'll get some lightening going on. But also your hair is so dark, I don't want you to have too light of highlights. Probably like a caramel brown would look best to blend. Like I, having really white highlights on top of your really dark hair is just gonna look very dated. I don't know what we're going for. I don't think we're going for that look. I'm gonna bleach it for the third time. We're going in again. So halfway through of applying the bleach, I actually realized I used a 10 volume developer instead of a 30. I did leave the 10 volume developer in my hair for one hour. So then I had to do a fourth bleach session with 30 volume developer and I did that off camera. We use 10 volume? Why are we using 10 volume? I mean, I get the idea, but that is not enough developer. And then she went in for a fourth time with 30 volume. D Jesus, just do it once with foils and 30 volume and enough lightener and you would have been done. It's a level like eight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this and then put on toner. I use the Rella T18 toner. Your hair's not light enough for that. It was actually expired. And so it was literally changing my hair to be more orange and brassy. And so after five minutes, I actually rinsed it out. I'm having a lot of problems. Hold on, what? I don't think if it's expired, it's gonna turn your hair orange. That's seems completely i don't know why that would happen um yeah i don't know i'm confused i decided to go ahead and just use like a dye over it so i'm just gonna go ahead and use the ion smoky amethyst right on top and this is just kind of like this pale violet shade that violet is going to be enough to kick out that yellow it's probably a good idea so i just applied the dye with my hands because there's no chemicals in here it's not going to be damaging there's chemicals in dye there is. It's actually all chemicals. <laughs> right away, you can already see the magic that dye works on the right side is when I first applied it. Left side is when I just like finished it. And so it looks so much better already. I'm finally gonna take this off. It's gonna be so nice. Ooh, my favorite part. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. Oh my God, this looks so fun crazy and so this is how it turned out i don't know whether if i like it or not i think i did achieve what i wanted to i wish i didn't have start so high because it's so thin too they kind of look like gray hairs and my mom said that i look like an old lady oh no <laughs> Wait, what? It honestly looks very realistic. They're so thin that it literally looks like you have little gray strands. That's kind of kind of cool. It's kind of a vibe. Is that the new trend? Are we gonna make that a trend? <laughs> You're ahead of the trend, girl. But yeah, wow, you really didn't put enough highlights in there. Also, next time, if you're gonna do the frosting cap, pull out a lot more hair and then also tease the hair and only don't color up to your root. That way you get more of like a balayage look instead of like highlights starting from your root. It is just something kind of like cool and funky. I think once it grows out it's gonna look a lot better for sure it does look really pretty it's just giving not a lot i'm kind of bummed i want more for you next time just i don't know i mean first of all you should probably go to the salon but if you don't want to go to the salon I, I understand yeah just do what i've recommended before it'll be better and don't use t18 use like a level eight toner like an ash level eight we don't want too much contrast between your really dark and really light good luck well those were three complete fails. <laughs> if you guys want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.